इंस्पिरेशन वॉट यू मीन बाई इंस्पिरेशन या इन हिंदी भी से प्रेरणा एंड देयर इज नॉट मच डिफरेंस बिटवीन प्रेरणा एंड प्रेरणा अ कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेरणा कैन बिकम अ कॉन्स्टेंट प्रेरणा फॉर सम पीपल एंड वॉट डू यू मीन बाई मोटिवेशन आर इंस्पिरेशन एंड मोटिवेशन द सेम और देयर इज सम डिस्टिंग डिफरेंस फ्रॉम विद इन एस मोटिवेशन कम्स फ्रॉम विद इन एस फ्रॉम आउट साइड बट डोंट फोर गेट यस नो इंस्पिरेशन इन वॉट यू मीन बाई इन इन मीन्स इन साइड मोटिवेशन इज समथिंग दैट इज फोर्स अपॉन यू फ्रॉम आउट साइड there can be many ways to motivate you for example if i say to a child that beta do this i'll give you a chocolate so that chocolate became motivation for the child to do something when bonus is given to an employee this is motivation in mba there is a separate chapter for motivation isn't it you are doing mba so there is also a topic how employees are to be motivated so there can be many methods but motivation is ephemeral motivation is short lived ephemeral means short lived it vanishes very soon but inspiration is never ending nobody can inspire you remember but you can be inspired by somebody or something because if somebody tries to inspire you he is trying to motivate you it is like filling air into a balloon you know nowadays social media is full of motivational speakers everybody has become a motivational speaker i have also become a motivational speaker and these motivational speakers are preparing balloons bubbles and they are ephemeral short lived for example you have given a chocolate to the child to make him perform something he has performed he has gained a chocolate then what then again he will expect a chocolate for doing something else it means the urge to do something from inside is not coming it is being forced upon him from outside so when you are inspired by something or somebody that inspiration keeps the spark on because there is a spark in all of us and that spark you know sometimes is surrounded by ashes so motivational speakers come and they blow that ash away but after some time that ash again covers the spark but when you are inspired you don't need anybody to blow away that ash you know what do you mean by ash rock hmm? so there is a spark inside all of us sometimes it is covered by ash so we feel that we are not energetic we are not passionate and the moment the ash is blown away we feel very energetic very enthusiastic so this is about inspiration here the writer is not inspiring you you may be inspired because sometimes you know one sentence can change your life if you go through the biographies or autobiographies of great people you will find one common thing that one small incident changed his or her life have you read so sometimes one small incident one small sentence one word can change your life but that sentence 
must come at the right time at the right place from the right person to the right person then that sentence can change your life if your parents keep saying to you you are good for nothing you will not mind it you will not take it ill you will say it is true if your brother your sister if your teachers scold you you will not take it ill if your teacher say you are a donkey you will agree you will say yes yes i am a donkey and you are a monkey you will agree but imagine there is a boy and he proposes to a girl will you marry me and the girl says i will not marry a donkey that that statement will bring out diljali from you <laughs> and you know you will start working hard that sentence will will be behind you see your parents have been saying the same thing to you your teachers they have been saying the same thing to you your friends your brothers sisters everybody but that did not matter to you but when you propose to your crush and when your crush crushed you with that dialogue i will not marry a donkey then that day the donkey inside you will die 